Oh, hello! Welcome back to my Chanel. I've seen quite a few posts on Instagram lately that it is now hot girl summer. Well, I would like to change that. May I present to you goth girl summer? <laughs> now, I know there are so many of you out there who are wondering how on earth are we going to survive the summer months? So I wanted to share with you my ideas to keep cool while also looking spooky. And I'm really excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. I've been using Skillshare for years and I actually have some classes on there as well. So for those of you who don't know what Skillshare is, it is an online learning community. Skillshare is awesome because it has a wide variety of classes for anybody who wants to learn anything. There's illustration, design, photography, video editing, and so much more. Members get unlimited access to thousands of classes Another great thing is that there are no ads, and they're always offering new classes, so there's bound to be something for everyone. So, my offer to you guys is the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore all these classes for free. So for me, one of my passions, obviously, is YouTube and filming. So one of the classes that I'm taking right now I'm really excited about, it's called YouTube Success, and it's by a creator called Mark Brownlee. He's a self-taught filmmaker, and he makes really cool YouTube videos about people of technology. Now one thing I don't see a lot of on YouTube is the behind the scenes, how people make their videos, so it was really refreshing and cool to see his process of filming, editing, and scripting. Now aside from taking classes on Skillshare, I also teach a few myself. I will leave links down to my Skillshare classes in the description box. So without further ado, it is my great pleasure to present to you my guide for how to look hot for goth girl summer. Let's dive in. So tip number one, spice up your look using some fancy gothic shades. I love wearing statement sunglasses in the summer for two reasons. One, you look really cool. And two, if you don't take them off, you never have to wear eye makeup and no one will ever know. <laughs> These are some of my personal favorites to wear in the summer. These bat glasses are to die for. I think I found them on AliExpress for six dollars. Next, get a really cute goth bathing suit. This is my personal favorite one. I believe I got this from Romway, but it's spiderweb print. Finding a spooky suit that makes you feel comfortable and confident in your body will guarantee that you have a fantastic time at the beach. And I'm sure you'll be getting quite a few admiring glances thrown your way as well. Lightweight fabrics are a must to avoid melting in the summer heat, so mesh and lace are two of my favorite things to wear. Not only do they look super goth and alternative, but they keep you nice and cool as well. Airflow is very important. I also love layering mesh underneath crop tops. Another important thing to keep you cool in the summer are your shoes. Now, as much as we all love our boots, we cannot wear them in the summer without our feet wanting to melt. So, what I love to wear in the summer are flip-flops and also platform sandals. These ones from Why Are You are my favorite summer shoe. They look amazing, plus they make you tower over everyone else, which will intimidate them into getting out of your way. <laughs> Aside from giving you a height advantage and keeping your feet cool, these are also super sexy. Another tip when it comes to accessories is by wearing thinner chokers. If you're anything like me, you love a big, thick, chunky choker, but unfortunately in the summertime, wearing a big choker can make your neck sweat and it just ends up being uncomfortable. So, as an alternative, you can wear some chains and some more delicate, thinner chokers. This of course gives your neck more room to breathe, but it also still looks cool. One of my top tips for summer is wearing dresses. These dresses are some of my go-tos from Dress Lily because the fabric is super thin. It's almost like swimsuit material where if you get it wet, it will dry quickly, which is perfect for when you're sweating. Besides, when it comes to dresses, it's an entire outfit. You throw on one piece of clothing and you're done. Super easy, keeps you cool, you look great. What more could you ask for? Now this next tip is probably my favorite thing to do in the summer because it goes with every outfit, a parasol or an umbrella, whichever one you may have. I like to add a little bit of pizzazz to my outfits by using this striped one that I got from Amazon. It is stunning, I love the dome top, and it just makes me feel like a Tim Burton character. With these, you're carrying around your own portable shade, so you'll be kept cool and you'll look awesome in the process. And in the event you have a sudden downpour of rain, you're covered for that too. If you don't want to carry around a parasol, I highly recommend a big black sun hat. Now if you want to keep even cooler, you can get these in a different color, but I prefer black, so I'll suffer a little bit of extra heat. <laughs> but this is another great way to have your own portable shade, especially if you're walking around at a fair or somewhere where a parasol might be a little cumbersome to carry around. I've knocked into multiple people at crowded gatherings like 4th of July festivals, concerts, so sometimes parasols aren't the best option. So. 
In that event, I would wear a hat. I love wearing straw hats because they have more airflow. I've worn felt hats in the summer, but I do not recommend because you will sweat your head off. So straw hats and lighter materials are the way to go. I have no idea where I got mine. I got it years ago, but I would have to guess either Walmart or CVS. Wearing bras or bralettes as tops. For some, this may be too risque, but for me, it's an everyday way of living. <laughs> I love wearing less clothing in the summer months, and why not rock a really cute bra or bralette out as a top? And if you feel a little too exposed wearing these, you can always layer it with a mesh shirt underneath. You could also layer a fishnet top underneath like this one. So for the bottom half of your body, I highly recommend fishnets. Super breathable, they look awesome, and you can layer them as well. And on top of that, you can either wear a skirt or some shorts. And if you're feeling really risque, you can always wear some shorts like this, which are mesh and see-through. These will definitely keep you cool. You can also wear some ripped jeans because, obviously, more air conditioning. <laughs> and the item with the most airflow will definitely be skirts. Gothic skirts come in such a wide variety of styles and shapes these days, you have your pick. Plus, you look super cute. Now, I mentioned this before, but lighter fabrics really are the best thing to wear. For example, I had this tank top that I got from Wish. The material is pretty much like a bathing suit, so if you sweat or get it wet, it will dry so much faster than your average piece of clothing. It also looks nice and it keeps you cool. Now, I can't do this particular tip myself because I have too much hair, but to keep your neck and head cool, you can also wear your hair up in a spiky updo. Death hawk, mohawk, spikes. <laughs> but keeping all your hair off your face and neck will keep you cooler and you'll also look cool. And depending on how big your hair is, it may also act as sunblock. Of course, speaking of sunblock, don't forget to lather on that SPF to keep your skin looking pale. I personally am not a big fan of sunscreen, only because I hate how greasy it makes me. So if you guys have any recommendations for sunscreen, please leave them in the comments below. I'm sure we'd all appreciate your recommendations. I usually prefer to cover up my skin with clothing rather than put on sunblock, but if I have to, I'll put on the sunblock and put up with the grease. I just hate how it rubs off my skin onto my clothes, my car, whatever surface I happen to sit on. So if you know of a non-greasy one, let me know. Now when it comes to your basic pieces, you don't have to get too fancy. You can always just wear a basic black tank top and shorts. But one way to spice up your outfit without getting too warm in the summer is by adding accessories. You can add a chain belt, a harness, and of course, my favorite huge platform sandals. Another one of my favorite tips is carry a fan with you. Whenever I'm traveling, I have found time and time again that having a fan with me is the best thing in the summer. I've taken these hiking to Disney, and these are perfect for Disney, especially if you're standing in long lines out in the summer sun. Oh, keeps you so much cooler. Plus, you look fancy. One smaller detail for the summer is that now that we're wearing open-toed shoes, have some darkly inclined nail polish. Then you can show off your toes and style in whatever cool sandals or flip-flops you choose to wear. For me, I tend to gravitate more towards dark purples, blues, reds, and of course, the standard black. And for my last tip, to keep your makeup from melting off your face, I would definitely recommend using a grippy primer like the Milk Hydro Grip or the Urban Decay Face Primer. I love the Urban Decay one. It keeps my makeup looking fresh all day and it does not melt off. In combination with that, especially for the summer, I would definitely use a waterproof setting spray. Now it depends on the situation, but if I really want some long-lasting makeup, I will spray my face before I do my makeup with the setting spray, during, and then after as well. You can never have enough setting spray. <laughs> Two of my absolute favorites that I would definitely recommend are the Urban Decay Setting Spray and the Skindinavia one. I have taken showers with a full face of makeup and I've also gone swimming and totally submerged my face and my makeup did not move, so I was very impressed by that one. And that was the Skindinavia waterproof one. So those are my tips and tricks for looking hot for goth girl summer. I hope they helped. If there's anything that you know of that I didn't mention in this video, please leave it down in the comments below. Do you have any summer plans? Is anything exciting happening? I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!